Myrtle's Plantation, St. Francisville, Louisiana. Constructed in 1796, Myrtle's Plantation stands as a venerable witness to the unfolding tapestry of Southern history. Originally established by General David Bradford, this antebellum mansion flourished over the years, its sprawling estate epitomizing the grandeur of the Old South. The plantation's history is steeped in the ebb and flow of prosperity and tragedy. In the 19th century, John Sterling purchased the property, and it became a hub of social and political activity. However, the serene facade of Myrtle's belied the dark tales that would etch its name in the annals of haunted lore. One of the most infamous chapters revolves around Chloe, a slave whose fate intertwined tragically with Myrtle's legacy. The story recounts Chloe's attempt to eavesdrop on the plantation's affairs, leading to her punishment. She supposedly poisoned the family with a cake infused with oleander. Her act of retribution ended in her own violent demise. As the plantation changed hands through the years, the whispers of Chloe's ghost and other spectral inhabitants became integral to the mystique of Myrtle's plantation. Today, this historical landmark beckons visitors to explore not only its architectural splendor but also the lingering echoes of a bygone era, where the shadows of the past intersect with the present. Within the stately halls and sprawling grounds of Myrtle's plantation, a realm where history converges with the supernatural, visitors have reported an array of inexplicable phenomena that weave a tapestry of ghostly tales. Chief among the spectral inhabitants is Chloe, the enslaved woman whose spirit is said to linger as a poignant reminder of the plantation's dark past. Guests have described encountering Chloe's apparition, her presence often materializing in mirrors or glimpsed as a fleeting figure wandering through the historic mansion. The paranormal encounters extend beyond Chloe's ghost. Mysterious footsteps echo through the corridors when the night is still, and visitors have spoken of hearing the laughter of phantom children at play. An unsettling chill pervades certain areas, leaving witnesses with an eerie sensation that defies logical explanation. The grandeur of Myrtle's, with its opulent furnishings and antiques, becomes a backdrop for these spectral occurrences, heightening the sense of intrigue for those who embark on ghost tours or overnight stays. As twilight descends over the plantation, tales of inexplicable sights and sounds intertwine with the whispers of the ancient oaks that stand sentinel. Myrtle's plantation, with its rich history and haunted reputation, beckons the curious to explore the boundary between the living and the spectral, inviting them to bear witness to the lingering spirits that continue to cast their ethereal presence across this southern estate. LaLaurie Mansion, New Orleans, Louisiana Erected in 1832, LaLaurie Mansion, an architectural jewel nestled in New Orleans' French Quarter, began its existence as a symbol of opulence and social standing. Commissioned by Delphine LaLaurie, a respected figure in New Orleans society, the mansion exuded grandeur with its Greek revival architecture and lavish interiors. Madame LaLaurie, however, concealed a sinister secret within its elegant walls. Revelations of her cruel and inhumane treatment of slaves shocked the community, leading to her fleeing the public eye. The mansion, despite changing ownership in the ensuing years, retained its association with the macabre tales that surrounded Madame LaLaurie's reign. The mansion's subsequent occupants grappled with the legacy of its dark history. From being a saloon to an apartment building, each iteration of LaLaurie Mansion carried the weight of its haunting past. The stories of Madame LaLaurie's cruelty became woven into the very fabric of the building, transforming it into a symbol of New Orleans' tumultuous history. Today, LaLaurie Mansion stands not only as a testament to antebellum architecture but also as a haunting reminder of the atrocities committed within its walls, preserving the echoes of a bygone era where privilege and brutality converged in a tale that continues to captivate those drawn to the mysterious and macabre. LaLaurie Mansion, infamous for its dark history, resonates with tales of paranormal activity that weave through its storied past. The tortured souls of the slaves who endured Madame Delphine LaLaurie's cruelty are believed to linger within the mansion's walls, their spectral presence haunting the corridors and rooms. Witnesses have described hearing disembodied cries and moans, as if the anguished echoes of the past still reverberate through time. Some claim to have encountered apparitions in tattered clothing, a poignant reminder of the suffering endured within these confines. The atmosphere within the Lori Mansion is said to be charged with an unsettling energy, creating an oppressive ambience for those who dare to explore its haunted halls. Many visitors have reported experiencing sudden drops in temperature, accompanied by an unshakable feeling of being watched. Others speak of unexplained shadows and eerie movements, as if the spirits of the past are reluctant to release their hold on the mansion. LaLaurie Mansion, with its intricate architecture and dark history, stands as a chilling intersection of the corporeal and the supernatural, beckoning those intrigued by the paranormal to peer into the shadows and confront the residual specters of a bygone era. St. Louis Cemetery No. 1, New Orleans, Louisiana Established in 1789, St. Louis Cemetery No. 1 stands as a venerable testament to the rich tapestry of New Orleans history and spirituality. 
As the city's oldest cemetery, it weaves together the narratives of countless individuals who have shaped the cultural landscape. The distinctive above-ground tombs, adorned with ornate ironwork and weathered by time, reflect the necessity of such burial practices in a city marked by a high water table. Over the centuries, the cemetery has become a final resting place for a diverse array of individuals, from prominent political figures to everyday citizens, each contributing to the mosaic of New Orleans' past. Among the notable interments is Marie Laveau, the iconic voodoo queen whose influence extended far beyond the realm of the supernatural. Her tomb has become a focal point for visitors seeking a connection to her spiritual legacy. As the cemetery weathered the storms of time and changes in societal norms, it retained its significance as not just a burial ground but a living chronicle of the city's evolution. St. Louis Cemetery No. 1 beckons history enthusiasts and curious souls alike to wander its narrow pathways, where each weathered tombstone holds a fragment of the captivating narrative that is New Orleans' enduring history. St. Louis Cemetery No. 1, with its atmospheric alleys and above-ground tombs, resonates with tales of paranormal encounters that amplify the mystique of its historical significance. Among the reported spectral phenomena, the ghostly presence of Marie Laveau, the revered voodoo queen, is said to linger near her tomb. Visitors have recounted experiencing a subtle, otherworldly energy surrounding the final resting places, especially those with ties to New Orleans' intriguing past. Many who explore the labyrinth and rows of tombs describe sudden drops in temperature and unexplained whispers that seem to echo through the air. The atmospheric shifts within the cemetery are believed to be particularly pronounced around the graves of individuals with compelling life stories. As the daylight wanes, casting shadows between the tombs, some have reported witnessing apparitions and fleeting glimpses of figures in period clothing. St. Louis Cemetery No. 1 transcends its historical role, inviting those with an interest in the supernatural to step into an ethereal realm where the boundaries between the living and the departed blur, weaving an enigmatic tapestry that stretches across centuries of New Orleans' spectral history. The Sultan's Palace, New Orleans, Louisiana Nestled in the heart of the French Quarter of New Orleans, the Sultan's Palace, formerly known as the Gardet La Prete House, emerges from the annals of the 1830s with an intriguing history steeped in opulence and the macabre. Originally constructed as a symbol of architectural splendor, the mansion earned its moniker when it became the residence of a wealthy Turkish man. Hosting lavish soirees attended by the city's elite, the mansion epitomized the vibrancy of New Orleans' social scene. However, the grandeur of the Sultan's palace met a chilling end one fateful night when it bore witness to a gruesome massacre, leaving the Turkish man and his entourage brutally murdered. The mansion's subsequent years were marked by a series of owners grappling with the shadows of its haunted past. Tales of the massacre became woven into the fabric of the mansion's identity, transforming it from a symbol of prosperity to a captivating enigma. As the Sultan's palace changed hands, each owner found themselves entwined in the tragic history that lingered within its ornate walls. Today, the Sultan's Palace stands as a testament to the intricate interplay between architectural elegance and the lingering echoes of a violent past, inviting visitors to step into the complex narrative of a once grand mansion now intertwined with the spectral tales of New Orleans' mysterious history. The Sultan's Palace, with its ornate facade and storied past, is enveloped in a veil of paranormal activity that adds an intriguing layer to its historical narrative. Witnesses who have dared to explore its dimly lit rooms recount encounters with spectral figures, dressed in period clothing reminiscent of the 19th century. The air within the mansion is often described as carrying a palpable otherworldly energy, thick with the residual emotions of the tragic events that unfolded during the gruesome massacre. Eerie sounds echo through the Sultan's palace, leaving an indelible impression on those who venture within. Disembodied footsteps reverberate through the hallways, accompanied by whispers that seem to linger in the air like lingering echoes from the past. Visitors report unexplained temperature fluctuations and a sense of being watched, heightening the eerie ambience of the mansion. These paranormal occurrences have solidified the Sultan's Palace as a destination for those seeking to explore the supernatural realm, where the veil between the living and the spectral appears thin. In its haunted corridors, the Sultan's Palace beckons the curious to navigate the enigmatic blend of opulence and tragedy, where the echoes of a violent history intertwine with the lingering presence of an otherworldly realm. Shreveport Municipal Auditorium, Shreveport, Louisiana Built in the 1920s, the Shreveport Municipal Auditorium stands as an architectural gem in Louisiana, mirroring the ebbs and flows of cultural evolution. Originally crafted in the Spanish colonial revival style, the auditorium quickly became a focal point for a myriad of events that shaped the region's cultural landscape. As a versatile venue, it hosted everything from political rallies to riveting concerts. However, its most significant chapter unfolded in the 1950s when it became the epicenter of the influential Louisiana Herod radio program. 
The auditorium's storied history reached a crescendo when a young Elvis Presley graced its stage, marking a pivotal moment in his early career. The dynamic performances during the Louisiana Hayride catapulted Elvis into the spotlight, forever linking the auditorium to the birth of rock and roll. Over the years, the venue continued to host diverse cultural events, solidifying its status as a beacon of artistic expression and a testament to the transformative power of music. Today, the Shreveport Municipal Auditorium remains a living tribute to the harmonious confluence of history and entertainment, where the echoes of iconic performances resonate through its walls, inviting visitors to step into the vibrant past of American musical evolution. While the Shreveport Municipal Auditorium is celebrated for its musical history, it also harbors an ethereal side, steeped in paranormal tales that add an intriguing layer to its legacy. Numerous witnesses have reported ghostly encounters within the auditorium, with Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll himself, taking center stage in spectral sightings. Apparitions of Elvis wandering the backstage area have been described, and some claim to have heard the haunting echoes of his iconic voice reverberating through the silent corridors, adding a spectral harmony to the auditorium's ambience. Beyond the enigmatic Elvis encounters, the auditorium is a stage for a variety of paranormal phenomena. Visitors have reported unexplained footsteps, mysterious flickering lights, and an overarching sense of a lingering otherworldly presence. The backstage area, once a bustling space for musical preparations, becomes a focal point for paranormal activity, where the line between the living and the spectral blurs. The Shreveport Municipal Auditorium, with its grandeur and historical resonance, beckons those intrigued by the supernatural to explore the unique intersection of musical heritage and ghostly lore within its hallowed halls, where the spirits seem to harmonize with the melodies of the past.